Uh, we are looking at a knobthorn tree. Jamie asked me to show you a knobthorn tree, and so that's what we're doing. So this is a young acacia or vitilia nigrescence, the knobthorn acacia or knobthorn vitilia, um, as they're now called. And it gets its name from these perturbances that grow on its bark that you can then that have a thorn on it. So if you follow my finger up the brand you'll notice that there's one of these knobs with a thorn on it. It's a very distinctive feature of, uh, of this particular tree. Um, the knobs themselves are used to cure a type of toothache that you get they're broken off and then they're pounded and mixed with uh, water and boiled a little bit and when it cools down people are given the um, the mixture to gargle and rinse over the sore tooth and it apparently cures some forms of toothache. Um, the reason for that is probably because these these knobs on this particular tree have a relatively high tannin uh, content and by boiling the tannin out and by putting it in the mouth you can constrict some blood vessels there and take away blood and numb an area effectively. What else is on this particular plant is a colony of cocktail ants and these ants belong to a group of ants called the chromatogasters and a very large, very aggressive uh, family of ant. They, in most cases, carry their tails cocked up above their head. Today is cold and, of course, insects has one with its tail cocked up above its head. And in most cases, uh, cold weather and insects make for a... a uh, slow moving they are very fast moving and you can actually elicit quite a reaction from these guys they're very aggressive they live on these vichilias to help the plant protect itself from browsers that are being eaten and they walk around with their stings exposed so ants bees and wasps all belong to an order of insects called the hymenoptera they're all related to one another and some ants have stings these particular ants have stings that can spray out a chemical cocktail um, that is that can chase an elephant away uh, uh, um, from a you know, look they bit me see the thorn there these hooked thorns on these plants are aggressive and they are you can see how big that was they very um, they don't like you coming close to them and they're designed that way this tree doesn't want to get its uh, its leaves <laughs> so Rebecca, who's directing the show today from the Mara, wants me to explain what my explo explosive ana was. It, um, that's a good question, actually. It's an expletive, um, which is non. Um, it's non-insulting. It's an Afrikaans uh, or one of the, the, the white tribe of South Africa, the Afrikaans people, use Aina to explain something that hurts, that is unexpectedly and shocking. So it's it's a painful, unexpected shock, but it is not uh, using a vulgar term or a swear word. Uh, it's not considered insulting, in other words. It's a, cons it's, it's a conservative expletive for something that is surprising and shocking. <laughs> so, if I can explain it that way. Now these trees do get big. They